this week, I totally get proven wrong by one of my BFFs in magic. It's Alex Rangel, and I'm dumb. That's, wait, that's not much of a pitch. Let's do this. Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Woo! Back again at the Rusty Cannon Pub with an old BFF. Uh, you're not that old, Alex Rangel. <laughs> with this old guy. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> and we are meeting for the first time. It was Daniel, Daniel who intercepted. And Jenna, good to see you guys. <laughs> I told Alex that I wanted him to bring something that would be dead simple that anybody could pick up, whether they're a magician or not, but that would absolutely amaze people. Let's see what you got. What you got? That's what you say. I'm sorry. Oh, did I not make that clear? That's on that's on me. <laughs> I know I've said this before. Yes. This is the best thing I've ever taught on Scam School. What? This is the absolute Best thing. Well, and what's great is every time you say that, it can still be true. <laughs> it's getting better every time. Yeah, the first time, but this time, yeah. I hate whenever like people start magic tricks with my grandfather said. <laughs> it's the lamest thing ever, but unfortunately, I was thinking about like what my grandfather would tell me when I would show him magic, and I would say, I don't speak Spanish, Grandpa. Sorry. <laughs> like, no entiende, but this is a trick that I would show them. So. For me, they're, they're not very, you know, they're, they're mixed. We have different cards. Yeah. Jenna, would you mind just taking any one of those? Sure. I'll tell you to grab a number, but okay. you could be saying like, oh, he's forcing me to grab a number. So just a I'm just gonna say aesthetically, it'll be prettier if you would. It'll make okay. sense later, but up to you. All right. Oh, I know this one, it's the eight of hearts. <laughs> I'm going to hand you these. How about a couple of kings for you? Okay. I'll take that one back. Okay. You do me a favor, check out those kings. Make sure there's no tape, nothing sticky, no glue, no nothing. Nope, regular cards. Regular well, yeah, I mean, they're paper cards. Here's what we're gonna do. Do you remember a couple years back, you're in high school, you're sitting around, your favorite subject, and you get to that day where you blow up a balloon, you take that balloon, rub it on your chest, you stick it on your hair, yeah. And your, your, yeah, yeah maybe your hair, maybe your hair, but. And he says, I'm telling you, don't do it. This is your future. You know how it works, right? Yeah, yeah. electricity. Perfect. We're not getting static out of paper. We're gonna make something impossible today. We're gonna to make a magnet out of those papers. So hand one to Jenna. Just Ooh. like in high school, take those cards and rub them on your head. Okay. Like rub them. And then I'm going to mix these cards up and shuffle them. And really I'm done. Like this doesn't have anything to do with what they're doing, but I wanted to see how long. There is no trick. Right. It's There's just no like, uh, just and now you're on the internet doing that. I even told him I was done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good? Yeah, All right. Let me take one of those cards back for you, please. Perfect. Put that right here. I'll take the other one on top. And look, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. If it worked, if it worked, we get one card to stick just like that. Okay. What was your card? What was your card? Is ah, it a heart? Boom. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Soccer? Oh, there is nothing better than the moment of sheer joy on your face. That was pretty great, right? Was you guys great. ready to learn this one? Oh, absolutely. Well, then you got a toast. I'm back. Abandon your family. Abandon your home. Give up your hopes and dreams. Give up and all your time giving the process domain.com forever ever ever evolution of domains with the process revolution of robot domains triumph of 99% uptime giving to great deals from our friends over at domain.com 50 50 15% off your domains say it with me promo code scam school at checkout I'm back forever All right, Mr. Rangel, spill it. First, sipping out of that straw is not very masculine. <laughs> Every time I toast, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> can, can I give you yeah. real time? This yeah, is real, yeah. yeah, real yeah. Brian and Alex talk? Yeah. 
I've known about the, that reveal forever, but I've always perceived it as there's no way that I'll fool anyone. And when you told me you were gonna do it, I'll be all like, well, we'll see. And then I saw sheer amazement right, right. on their faces. And I was like, I stand corrected. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. great reveal. I love that reveal, yep. yeah. <laughs> So the thing that I absolutely love about this is it really is a borrowed deck. Uh, you can take it from your buddy, have it in your house, always do one of these, right? Yep. Impromptu magic You can have trick. them shuffle it. There's have nothing tricky about nothing. Mix it. it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all. You do have to learn a couple of magic moves, learn a couple of easy, quick magic moves but they're super simple and you have all the time in the world. First step, have them pick anything, right? Have let's them pick so any let's card. Say, let's say I'm gonna pick this one. Uh, yep. I got the nine, nine of diamonds. Perfect. Got it, okay. Perfect. While they're looking at their selection, that they're very happy, oh, I got this card. I'm very happy I got this card. I just pick up the deck and I'll go to me. You have a nine of diamonds? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna oh, pick. So you pick intentionally two cards absolutely. that will complement this. I want this. it, yeah, absolutely. I want it to stand out in that finished, completed image within that square. So like if I had pulled out the King of Hearts, you would have pulled out maybe uh, the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Spades or right, something. Right, absolutely. Something where it's gonna pop at the end. Yeah, it's gonna pop at the end, okay. for sure. And make no mention of this, nobody knows what you're doing anyway, right? I throw that out there, I go through, we find the other queen. While that's on the table, again, nobody knows what's happening with these yet. Right. I'll simply say, can y'all do me a favor? Can y'all check those out? Can you make sure there's nothing sticky, no tape, no glue, as I'm taking back the selected card? So at this point, you guys both have a job. Right. right. And so your attention is on that. And I guess out of the corner of your eye, see that the card goes back in the decks and it gets all mixed up. You're seeing this motion, right? You're seeing this mix. I could, I could really be doing this. Yeah. And because you're sitting there. In fact, with this extra bit of misdirection, I bet you could set it on top and then actually just retain it on top the entire Absolutely. time. They Absolutely. could just see this. Absolutely. All I did is I set the selected card on top and I'm holding it and I'm just doing an overhand shuffle and each time I'm dragging the top card and keeping it on top. I have to do a second thing. Yep. I have to get your selection that was put on top. I have to get it to the bottom. Okay. You do it the same exact way that you showed. Yep. Right? Except for you're really doing it, peeling that card off, everything goes in, lays on top. You could even get it right from the bottom at the beginning. Let's say they set their card on top, you could just peel it straight down to the bottom, and as long as they don't see the bottom card, you just keep doing the same moves, and it stays on the bottom the entire time. Entire time. Right, so, okay, so their card is on the bottom, you've got two cards that they're busy looking at. This is just bluff, there's no reason for this other than doing what I'm doing. I ask for one card back, mm -hmm. I ask for one card back. I take that card, it goes on top, and I say, we'll place that card on top. We'll take the other one, we place it on bottom. Somewhere in between is your card in that deck. And then I will turn my wrist over and show that. Just doing this, not on the top, not on the bottom. It's right there. Oh, so you full on seem to be showing them the bottom, but, but they never see the bottom. Absolutely oh. not. That's great. Yeah, I'm just letting my entire palm cover that card and splashing that saying, not on the top, not on the bottom, as my right hand comes in, and here is, man. <laughs> it's a very challenging, important, difficult move. Two fingers are gonna hold that deck like that. This pinky is going to touch that card, and so it's gonna stay hold there. Jenna is That's like a, she's, she's, she's already a magician. Got it. She's already got it. She took, from the beginning <laughs> of the trick, she's like, yeah, done. Yeah. These cards are going to naturally fall out with right. the inertia of being you know, thrown into this hand, and that pinky placement is going to let that card stick sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this actually might be a good point, too. Uh, uh, you know, you want a little bit of moisture on your fingers. Sure. As you come through, you stick that, that, man, look how good that looks. And what's great is this is like a flash frozen moment. You have the two cards, you're like, oh, a card appeared. And then there's that, that moment when you figure out like, oh, but my card was the, it's not gonna be the, oh. I love framing it this way of taking that card down, taking this card down, not just, you know, spoiling and jumping in and showing it. Yeah. If it's here, you know, it's just a turning, you know, letting them see that before uh, an, it goes. An alternate in. take I, I always love is I'll be like, you know what? Yes. You know, yeah. and, and make that yeah. moment. Yeah. And, then, and then they're the one yeah. who, who does them, it. Yeah. Let them enjoy that moment. Like, uh, you know. Dude, I love it. It's diabolically yeah. simple. It uses stuff that we've already learned. It took something that I thought was not a good reveal, but it turns out I'm totally wrong and it totally is a good reveal. Uh, do you guys got this? Who's going to perform for us? Gotta it's got to be Jenna, right? Jenna. I'm feeling like Jenna's the magician. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, Jenna, I hear you are a wizard now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, show me a trick. Pick any of 
these cards? Any of them? Yep. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick the royalist card of them all. Ooh. Good old king of hearts. That's, that's a uh, good one. That's mine. All right, take that that's card, and you two can look uh, at those. Yeah, okay, what are we doing with these? Uh, check them over. I'm gonna check them sure over. No I'm gonna tape, no tears. I'm gonna look for all those things. Yeah, no, okay, now what? Science class, do you remember how they used to rub a balloon on your head? I do, that's good, she's got it now. <laughs> I am going to turn them into a magnet. Okay, okay, got it. Done, All done. Right. Can I take those cards? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh my god, what's about to happen? I think she's got it. What? <laughs> well done, Jenna! You're a, you're a friggin' wizard. That was amazing. <laughs> Man, there is nothing better than those moments that I am proven 100% wrong, and Alex Rangel did exactly that. Here's the thing to remember. Do not suffer from the curse of knowledge. Just because you know how something works doesn't mean it won't create a moment of true astonishment in somebody else. Alex was right. I was wrong. I want to hear about other things that I missed, so hit me up over at my Twitter. That's twitter.com slash There is no C in Schwood. And of course, if you haven't seen it, you got to check out The Modern Rogue. Me and Jason Murphy are on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel. And it looks like this. What you get to be in, I don't get to be in. Uh, the, the character is Jason Murphy, but we need real talent. In fact, uh, good to see you, man. Nice to see you. Here we go. So, Jason Hi. Murphy. Hey. I'm the next Jason Murphy. Have you ever, like, even been in front of the camera before? Who the... I'm Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> this time, Brian... It turns out it's multi-level marketing. I thought this was scam school. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the temptation. Yeah. That's, that's smart. Because that's I want to do it every time. <laughs>